Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Casio FX115 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the mode setup key that looks like this located here, the times 10 to the x key with the shift function of pi that looks like this, located here, the answer key with the shift function of drg that looks like this, located here, and the fraction key that looks like this, located here. If you're given a value, like say pi over 4 in radians, and want to convert that to degrees, the first thing we have to do is set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So if we're going from radians to degrees, we want it in degrees mode. Right now, in my calculator, you can see an R at the top of the screen there. That's letting us know my calculator is set to radians mode. So what we need to do is change this to degrees. To do this, we press Shift, and then the mode key, which brings us to this menu here. We have number three, degrees, four radians, five gradients. Since we want a result in degrees, we choose number three. And now we see at the top of our screen, we have a D there. Now we can enter our pi over four on our calculator. So we go shift times 10 to the x with the shift function of pi. There we go. And then we can use the fraction key and 4. There we go. There's our pi over 4. And then we want to go 1 to the right so we're no longer beside the 4. And now we need to tell our calculator these are radians. So to do that, we press shift and then the answer key. And here we have degrees, radians, gradients. Since these are radians that we've entered, we need to choose two. There we go, that R appears, and now we have pi over four radians. Since we're in degrees mode on the calculator, all we have to do is press equals, and see we get that result of 45 degrees. So pi over four radians is equal to 45 degrees. Another example, let's say we had pi and wanted that as degrees. Well, we're already in degrees mode, so all we have to do is press shift times 10 to the x to enter our pi on the screen, and then tell our calculator these are radians with shift answer two. There we go, pi radians equals 180 degrees. But what if we had degrees and wanted to get our result in radians? Well, again, we have to set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So we go back to Shift, Mode key, and now we choose number four, radians. We see the R at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in radian mode. And now we can enter our 45 degrees. So we go 45, and then we need to tell our calculator these are degrees. So we go shift, answer, drg, and choose number one for degrees. 45 degrees equals, and we see we get a result of one over four pi, which we know is the same as pi over four. If we wanted to prove that to ourselves, what we could do is enter pi over four on our screen. There we go, and press equals. And see our calculator converts that to one over four pi. It's just the way this calculator likes to display these numbers. And one more example. Let's say we were given 180 degrees and wanted to convert that to radians. Since we're already in radians mode, we can go ahead and enter our 180. Press shift, 
the answer key with the shift function of DRG and choose number one for degrees. There we go, 180 degrees equals pi. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.